Hello everyone, welcome. It's me Virginia. To all my subscribers, old and new, I thank you for joining me in my channel and for stopping by today for another Ruby Tuesday DT project share. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I can't believe it's another year has gone by so fast. So I'm hoping you are all doing well. And uh, today's project is a repurposed uh, sketchbook or notebook, any notebook, uh, if you get inspired and wanted to try this, uh, you could use any notebook. As for me, because I have quite a bit of uh, sketchbooks, I thought I'd repurpose them to a writing journal instead of getting a new one. So this one that I'm showing right now was my last year's uh, writing journal that I all also covered with um, Heather's uh, digital and that was even before I was in the, her design team so for this um, project I am using some of my favorite prints that are inspiration to projects that I am planning and hoping to uh, create this year and also the calendar um, using that calendar, I think it's the French calendar um, kit to make a monthly calendar that it's, I made it kind of like a, an all-purpose notebook. Um, I love writing in the morning to recap my previous day and just my thoughts for today. It, I find it so uh, therapeutic. And Right now, I'm showing some of the prints that I have pre-printed and selected uh, to use um, for this notebook. And then I have some scraps of um, papers, some piano paper, a collage, uh, or book pages. So what I did with this, um, this one is a bigger uh, sketchbook. So... I am going to be cutting it to fit the same size because I am using that writing journal along with um, a five-year journal that I have been keeping for the past few years. I think I showed that uh, earlier. Yeah. So this is a sped up video, like I sped it up like uh, two times uh, and right now I am cutting the the notebook itself so that uh, it would be the same size as my previous one uh, and so what i did was the with the exacto knife cut the cover and the rest of the pages i just um, tore it with um, my hand with the guided uh, ruler so this is um, the end of it and i'm trimming it off so that it will be right now <laughs> quickly uh, it became uh, the same size as that so what I'm doing next will be um, covering the um, the cover actually that is a nice uh, kind of like a suede um, cover in there but I want to make it uh, pretty with um, the uh, digital kits of course you can uh, use any kits um, for the project um, so I have those uh, several prints and I haven't really decided what to use with the cover I like that swan that was from the the two new kits I use are the creme brulee and um, the love and light they have like very pretty neutral colored uh, images and prints in there and the other one was from um, La Luna so I have not I can't decide which of those uh, images I'm using for the cover so I switched back to I also created um, kind of a little file folder holder where I will be storing those um, monthly calendars and uh, images that I said will be my inspiration for my uh, for this year's uh, project because what I'm doing with the writing is I 
just glue um, the monthly calendar at the beginning of the month and then I just kept using the pages to fit uh, what I write daily. I don't want to designate uh, certain pages for the month and um, be left with uh, blank pages. So that's what I've been doing so I don't waste any paper. And I think for me personally, late uh, this past few years, I realized that the writing, the act of writing is what I really like. Uh, love uh, that I see I feel like it's really therapeutic um, I really don't have time to read back what I've written and actually I've been just like scribbling scribbling and uh, I feel like it's very freeing that I really my writing has not been legible so I could like really in my mind I'm really writing what is in my thought whether I'm upset I'm happy or so so it's I think it's just the act of writing and so what I what I do it um, after I have uh, written in all the pages I go back over it and write over it uh, again uh, so that uh, I just use up that one book for the year and that's just what happened so going back to the project uh, this um, kit the French calendar um, the months are written in uh, French and actually there are some more uh, French scripts there like after the month those are the days uh, I mean it's not like a daily thing because I think this is supposed to be like a, a page a day of that original vintage uh, or antique uh, ledger where this print came from and right now I am picking uh, between these images that I kind of like uh, pre-selected for the cover for the monthly uh, calendar page kind of my uh, uh, cover <laughs> monthly cover so I think I have uh, selected that beautiful um, angel in a swan boat that is so pretty when I saw that uh, <laughs> I asked Heather if she drew that it was so uh, it's so beautiful it's from the light, light and love so I cut down the video and now I am uh, I have set my image for the cover for this uh, image with the owl and the lady in the on sitting on the moon so whimsical and um, this is from the La Luna kit um, I created a celestial journal with her La Luna kit I think last no la, I think that was like already two years ago and um, I wanted to create one actually I have an ongoing project uh, with uh, the celestial team so hopefully hopefully I could get that um, done and so I'm picking some uh, piece of um, vintage or antique uh, French book page that I got from a happy mail from uh, Heather. Like what I said, I want to use uh, the pretty uh, things that I've been hoarding and one of them, well, it's not my own yet but this is something that I got from uh, a happy mail from uh, Heather and there was also um, a set of uh, trims that I uh, took out uh, that I'm planning to use here that are that I received from happy mail from uh, Heather of Rose Hill as well so right now uh, there was this this uh, packaging um, paper that uh, I think I got that from my daughter's mail that is like not brown it's uh, kind of like cream yellowish and it kind of like it really complements the color of this uh, image and it's it's neutral so I picked that one I am picking between that little piece uh, piece of uh, scrap handmade paper that was left over from a project I am also currently working on and this bigger um, handmade paper that's kind of like uh, brownish uh, pink mauve mauve that kind of like uh, is the color of the the sky in the image but 
I think I decided the little one because that's the last piece of that uh, piece of paper. So I picked that uh, French letter or French uh, script that I think it says letter from letter of uh, the royal royal prince for I don't know what because uh, why not right <laughs> so uh, I think I'm set for the cover and then I forgot to put the little uh, dotted Swiss with a golden dot that is so pretty and uh, a little bit of spark uh, sparkly there so right now I'm peeling off the the vintage uh, book page book uh, uh, page in there to attach that uh, dotted uh, Swiss mm, I'm using Fabri-Tac for that but mainly for the rest of the paper I'm using the tacky glue that I have in a jar I'm sorry I'm sniffling a bit um, sorry also for the lighting I, I've waited until like um afternoon because you know the weather right now it's always like overcast and still it's uh the sun's out but it's still uh, a bit overcast so i like this image of the swan also I, at first i thought that was the cover that i was gonna use for the front so i use it in the back but the way i would be using this uh journal anyway is that since the orientation is like uh, the spine is at the top. I'll just keep writing on the front pages until I finish. And then when I finish with that, I'll flip it over and write at the back page, which by then would be the front. So actually, this uh, image of the swan will be, by the time I finish all the front page, will be the front cover when I switch it over. So in the end, I ended up using that bigger uh, piece of handmade paper, that mauve uh, color um, handmade paper from Rosil paper. And now I picked that um, image from, um, I think it's also from the creme brulee or love and light. It's a sketch of, uh, it's a rose sketch and i uh really like that i i love all those brown sketches that heather has in some of her kits and i actually what i do with this is i copied them into a separate folder and uh put them together because i kind of kind of like remember that in my mind that i have those images and then so i don't have to search back where i which kit it came from so i copy it and then uh, oh going back to the calendar so what i did with this calendar is at first i thought i was like i really planned it out i cut my papers to size to five by seven and i said i changed my printer size uh, when i when i'm printing to uh five by seven as well and I printed each calendar to a single page that was already there. That If you saw earlier, there was a little bit of a border because, I don't know, I can't get it exactly so that there's no border. Anyway, I had to cut it smaller anyway to fit the size of the notebook. So what I did is I printed two copies of each and then glued it together or attached it together with the masking tape that I printed uh, with Heather's print also that I learned from Maria of Jador Le Papier sorry Maria <laughs> um, that she had shared in her last uh, Ruby Tuesday uh, project um, so I also printed that uh, that kit uh, this image of the blue uh, flowers are from the is from the um, French calendar that I used uh, in here, and I made made um, lace pocket that I am gluing the edge in the front because 
I realized there's not much room for the prints. So I extended it to the front side, which turned out pretty well. Uh, kind of like a trim or a layered uh, texture to add to the front of this uh, folder, um, a small uh, folder. And I think I'm pretty done with it. So I'm tucking it in. What I'm going to do with this is in my uh, the leather journal cover that I have which I showed I think I showed briefly earlier has a side pocket on the right side so I will tuck that uh, flap inside so that I have all those uh, monthly um, calendars ready Okay, so I think I'm done with the book and I'm showing in here a little clip. I was planning to make a bookmark for the book but it's kind of hard because it's uh, the way we flip it is uh, the way I'm going to be flipping it's from the top. So instead, I created that little paper clip uh, bookmark with the little star trim that I was originally planning to uh, glue in the collage cover. So here's the calendar to begin with for January and that little uh, inspirational image and there's the front and the back uh, cover and there's my uh, paperclip bookmark and that trim was from uh, Rose Hill Paper. Thank you Heather for uh, the happy mail you sent. Thank you so much. Love it. Um, here's the little uh, file folder where I'm stuffing the rest of the calendars and um, the images that are kind of like my inspiration for the projects that I am planning. Not set in stone because you know, <laughs> time permitting, that's only uh, when time permits and Sometimes I change my mind. I love this uh, beautiful image from Le Femme. I keep mentioning that. That's one of my favorite kits. So many pretty things in uh, that. I'll have them tucked in there. And there's one other thing I did for myself <laughs> just to give me a head start with... Um, I made this uh, set of... Uh, blank envelope cards that uh, were also inspired by Ruby and Pearl. Um, I'll put a link on uh, the video where she shared that. It's kind of like a Christmas uh, card but we could make it for any season and this is uh, what I did and I actually made some of this from other creators also. So one other printing tip that I could share is like in this uh, inside of the cards, I have uh, kind of like a more blank. Some has like little scripts background. When I see something that um, I like to use as a background and it's part of a collage, I isolate the image, like uh, frame it, copy it and copy it to a clipboard or a new file and there I have a new um, file with that uh, plain or blank image and I usually use that for like backgrounds and um, but Heather has those uh, blank and um, more plain uh, images from her kits and what I also do is I copy those uh, blank images so that I have them ready these are from the Christmas kits but we could also use them as any season uh, well thank you so much for um, spending some time with me with this uh, project share I hope to see you in the next uh, video share that I will be hopefully making and posting and I, I wish you all a wonderful uh, new year um, a very productive, creative, and um, happy new year to all of you. Thank you so much, and you all have a good day.